Yeah, I mean, it was a tough match. I think that every time we play them, it's a good game and it's a high paced physical game. And I think we match that energy today and, um, you know, obviously want three points out of every game, but happy to still walk away with a point and with something. And um, we really want to take that momentum going into postseason. Yeah, I can use agree. And then uh, I think we have a lot of good things that we can build on, build on until the playoffs. Um, and um, I also think it was a really tough game. Um, chances of, on both ways. Um, the game could have finished. Like win for them, win for us. But I'm happy with the um, draw. So the career is going to be this game's firing on Penske. And there's a big one power the last six. What went into Ethan's growth in making this game for Penske? Yeah, I think just being detailed in training and, um, you know, we know how crafty that they can be like up top. Um, so really just trying to know where those players are at all times and trying to manage that. And um, I think we did a good job at that, defending the frame. Yeah. <laughs> no Alex, no Abby. It looked like that this was a true defensive team effort tonight with those two out. If you guys had anything further about how well the defense appeared to be playing tonight. Yeah, I just think that we have a deep bench, luckily. So um, obviously we miss those players. They're big leaders on our team. Um, but that's why we have a bench. And I think that everyone really stepped up and did their job today. And um, yeah, happy to come out with a point. Yeah, we're playing a really tough team today. And I think everybody out there did fantastic job and I think we definitely showed that we are really strong uh, we also s created some chances we ended up scoring a goal but it was obviously not so I think we can uh, take some positive uh, from the offensive too and build on that to the playoffs Sophia uh, you will have a, being the last game of the radio season and you played in clubs teams all over the world. Can you go back on the season and your What are your thoughts on the league overall and the team? Um, what I knew before I came here was that the league is really tough. Every game is super tough, and I have really feel that every game is a challenge. And I'm super happy to be here and have uh, be in a league where every game is competitive. Where in Europe. You have a top three or maybe top four, and then the rest of the games are maybe not that hard. So um, I really think this is a super good league. Uh, obviously, I wish that I would have uh, give more points to the team and with assist and scoring. Um, hopefully, I can uh, do that in the playoffs and uh, help the team to go far. Casey, as I mentioned before, the team, the team has really high standards and high expectations. Now that the season wrapped up, do you feel like the team met those expectations for the radio season? I think to an extent, but I think that we always want to push further. So, you know, we're happy to be the first team, um, expansion team to get to postseason, but we know that there's so much more that we can give and we really want to set our sights high and we want to win it all. So, um, yes, happy, but also not satisfied, and we want to keep pushing. What do you think is the greatest strength of sending away moving into this postseason? I think just our depth. Like, I think that's huge for our team is that anyone can step on the field and put in a good performance. Um, and we really stress that every person is needed, every training, every game. Um, so I think just playing your role on that given day and doing it to your best abilities. I think that's our biggest strength. Yeah. Do you think this is anything that I think at this point, it's just fine tuning little things, um, both defensively and offensively. Um, it's, it's not major changes, but it's little things that we definitely need to clean up. Um, obviously, it's an impressive season to lay as an um, expansion team, but for either of you, just how would you summarize maybe just some of your favorite moments? Um, you know, we've got a question throughout the season, or is it going to be about the moments? <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, it's just everything has been super new uh, coming here. Late, also to a team, I feel like we have grown as a team during the whole season, and I really think that we are a team that works really hard together. and 
everybody have their spot. So I think like as a team, we are a really strong team to grind together. So uh, I'm really, I don't know how to say it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then to build off that, I think just, you know, coming into Snapdragon and even at Torero, just our fans have been incredible this whole year. And to get 32,000 in that first game and break that record, I think is a huge moment for all of women's soccer. So um, yeah, I think just really proud of that and excited to see where women's soccer can continue to grow. Yeah, it was an absolute grind. Um, you know, we faced a lot of adversity this week. I think it's our biggest ever unavailability report. Um, but you know, it just shows the character and strength of this this squad that they can go out there and keep a clean sheet against the team that's been scoring a lot of goals. And you know, with all due respect, Sean's a good coach and they're a really good side. And I think they showed that tonight. So it's, the, the clean sheet was massive. The point was big. Um, and I'm really pleased with the way we kind of graded it out. You know, and unfortunately we couldn't get a goal, but we had some couple of decent chances and didn't score. But then so did they, you know, so I thought it was quite evenly matched in terms of chances. They obviously dominated the ball a little bit more, which, you know, we'll look at and try and improve. But I have to be really pleased with a, a dogged, dogged performance in a point. I thought the players worked so hard tonight to, to earn that that point, And I'm very proud of them. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 wanted to press high, so you know, identified that if their centre backs have time on the ball and their full backs get really high and you can get overloaded, so we wanted to get pressure on their centre backs. Out, we wanted to release our wing backs, so we changed the system a little bit. Um, unfortunately, we had to flip the system in the second half because we had to take Emily Van Egmond off. You know, she's got a bit of an issue with the quad. Um, so we had to flip the system back to a four because we didn't have availability in certain areas. Um, but then again, we we gritted it out. And again, in the second half, we changed the system again. So my players' adaptability tonight was was big. We wanted to try and stop them higher up um, rather than getting into our final third. Because, you know, when you've got threats like Dabina, Carolyn and and players like that and, and Tess Bodie, who just does not stop running, Um you know, and I've got a huge amount of time for Denise O'Sullivan. I think she does a lot of work and has special qualities that people don't necessarily talk about. So good side. Um, just really pleased that we managed to keep a clean sheet. Yeah. 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 Captain's performance. You know, and I, was, I do say it a lot, like she is, and I was a centre-back, so I know centre-backs when I see one, and that's why I was so adamant we took her first pick in the draft, because she's she is another level, you know, and I, I don't think she was at her best against Orlando, I think it was one of her, but even Naomi not at her best is still very good, and I thought tonight she was absolutely outstanding, with and without the ball, the composure she shows for a rookie. I don't see her as a rookie at all. You know, she looks like she's been playing in this this league for years and she just gives us that calm and assured performances week in, week out. And yeah, she's she's a very special player and a very special person. Yeah, I think we would have liked to finish higher. You know, we've dropped points in, in areas where we shouldn't have. Um, and we know that as a team. But to, to be able to do what we've done, which everyone told me we couldn't do at the beginning of the season, being an expansion team, I have to be, I say have to, I should be really happy and really proud of the club, the team, the players, the staff. And I am. Um, I'm just a bit of a perfectionist and always want more. Um, but we can still, there's still, we're still able to achieve more. You know, we put ourselves in a playoff spot and that was the aim at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Playoff scenario is coming out from higher this weekend and coming from an English career system. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on the playoff format and like it. Well, I like the playoffs. I don't, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that we're all kicking off over three days. Like, where's parity in that? Like, that doesn't happen in any other league in the world. You all kick off on the same day at the same time on the last game of the season. So you're really putting integrity into people's hands in terms of. 
results and stuff. I don't agree with it. I think it's it has to change about this league. Like, why would everyone kick off? And then, you know, the ground sharing thing, I'm not buying it because in England we ground shared. So make it work. You know, the calendar, should, everyone should finish at the same time. So now you're sitting and you're waiting for results. Um, but yeah, like it's different for me. You know, now we go again. You know, at the, at the end of the season in England, you're done. So I think it's massively exciting. It gives you another thing to play for and another opportunity to win silverware. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I want to get a few players back first from injury so that we have uh, availability. You know, we didn't have a, a mirror was on the bench, but wasn't really available today. Alex, Taylor, Katie Johnson, Abby, the list was a bit endless, to be honest. So you say that and we've gone out and they've been full strength and we've managed to keep a clean sheet and create chances. So now it's about giving the players a little bit of rest time because it's been a long season. This league takes it out of you when you're traveling coast to coast to play a 90 minute game. Um, so, you know, rest, reflect. We have to wait and see who we get because again, we don't know because we're all kicking off on three different days. And um, then we'll do our research. We'll set a game plan and we'll put some, some plans in place and instill a belief into this team that we can beat anyone because we can. And we've shown that this season. Uh, with this being match point two, Significantly, I look at the Challenge Cup and we're a million miles from what we were then, thankfully. Um, we can keep clean sheets, we can be resilient, we can show character, we can adapt systems, which we've done twice against these. Um, I'd like us to maintain the ball a little bit more. That's something we need to continue to work on. Um, but yeah, I think we've grown in our game understanding and the way we apply ourselves. And again, people coming off the bench and making a big difference again today.